Hi, this is uh, Mark Tamberdorf from the New Jersey Devils, and you're listening to Buck Nuts. Why? Well, I don't know. It's time to lace up those skates and talk about hockey with Walt, Bry, Ming, and Sunday Jeff. These are the Puck Nuts. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Puck Nuts, dealing with the New Jersey Devils and the NHL. My name is Ming Chen. Walt. Bry. Sunday Jeff. Sometime Puck Nut Brian Quinn. All right. Walt, have you bought your uh, Florida Panthers Ice Dancer calendar yet? Um, no, they gave me one for free. Have you uh, taken it home? <laughs> That's a good answer. It? I gave it a right answer. What's that? Have you taken it home? Have you hung it up for the no, enjoyment of your wife and kids? I'm not, uh, I'm not big into calendars. I don't think I've ever purchased a calendar in my life. You know what's weird? You've, uh, um, you put it here at our, our studio. Just kind of have it laying around. Every time I pass it, I can't help but... Jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> but just look over and glance at it. It's a thing well, of... Be- where is yours, calendar? It's, a, it's at the office, but uh, I'm actually giving it to a listener. One of, the, one of the first listeners who donated a ticket. Well, why don't you uh, give him mine, too, then? All right, give I will. Next, uh, next person who... who next uh, person who, who calls in for uh, Glory Hall is going to get my, all right. my calendar. All right. All right. All right. The uh, sellout for charity game that we've been plugging the last few weeks, it's, it's actually gone so well, they've actually added two charity games. Two more beyond the January 11th one that they originally scheduled. Due to the puck nuts involvement? Or you mean thanks just to us totally? I, I can only assume that. No, really. Be honest. But be serious. We can never tell when you're fooling around. Yeah, I, I'm... Th- <laughs> he didn't say one way or the other, so I'm going to... Oh, you talked to this guy, Joe, since then? Uh, I talked to Doug, the guy who brought this uh, to our attention. Right. And um, not only that, but uh, previously uh, there was just a phone number to call the order. He's actually set up a PayPal account. So many people have requested it. So. Did Doug call you to tell you about this, or did you? He call did. Doug? He called me today. That means it. That means something's going on. Yeah. Although we ain't seen none of, no emails come in with people sending in the receipts, though, right? I've gotten some. Yeah. Yeah. They uh, has it people buying double figures yet? Uh, yes, it has. Nice. It has. Um, Q, are you going to be involved with our with our exclusive Puck Nut broad, uh, podcast? Are you guys recording it here in the store? Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Did you know that we're doing an exclusive podcast for anybody who orders a ticket or a calendar? So far, it's very exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. We're not seeing Adam and Eve numbers, but, uh, you know, 10 is good. Let's just go with, not bad. Let's just go with percentages. It has doubled. It has gone up 200% since last week. A- any any involvement in Pug Nuts that you guys allow me to have, I'd like to have, yeah. We don't allow you to, to uh, you, you are a Pug Nut. You just kind of hang out. <laughs> <laughs> You're Amongst a Pug friends. Nut. <laughs> don't ever forget it. Well, now I'm touched <laughs> to my core, so yeah. Yeah, I can't wait. So if you want to get in on this uh, special ultra-exclusive club... Uh, you can either buy a ticket to one of the charity games that the Panthers are holding. Uh, now three dates, January 11th, February 8th, and March 15th. And, um, and what's this charity again? This is for like underprivileged kids? This uh, first one was for kids. The second one is going to the uh, Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. So, um, the what? <laughs> the Crohn's Disease and Colitis Foundation. Which uh, I, I think no um, that that's, a, that's an Crohn's intestine. Crohn's disease is when you got stomach problems. Yeah. So, oh, really? Yeah. Just like a fat gut, because you could just send the money to me. <laughs> uh, and the uh, the March fifteenth game is going to uh, the armed forces. Oh, now that's a cause. Every American. That's one get that behind. I can behind that, and that we have gotten behind. Right, we we at Puck Nuts and Tom, Steve, Dave, we love servicemen. We love a man in uniform. We do, or a woman, <laughs> men, or women in uniform. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. So if you want to buy a ticket for one of the charity games, uh, you want to call 954-835-7223 and ask for Joe and make sure to tell him the Puck Nuts sent you. Also, now there's a PayPal address, so if you're international, uh, you can you can buy and donate a ticket anywhere. PayPal address is liquid9281 at gmail.com. And, uh, we'll but put that this- PayPal address is only for the tickets? Those are only for the tickets for now. Um, so the ticket prices are 20 40 or 45 uh, If you just want to throw in 20 for a donation, go for it. Uh, also, the, uh, the very popular Ice Dancer calendars, um, also to benefit charities. Uh, you can get that at floridapanthers.com or call 954-835-PUCK, P-U-C-K. What's the charity, what's the charity for the Ice Dancer calendar? Uh, same thing. I think it's going to 
the kids. Okay. And, I think. Uh, I think. Yeah. He's not oh. really clear on much this week. <laughs> Did they sell out the, uh, the January 11th game? Yeah, that and the January okay. 11th game, but they have, they've added two more charity okay. games. There have been some, did you? I want to make sure. You know, you sell one game. They you didn't, didn't sell, sell one game. Out. They didn't sell it out. Then why add in two more yet. dates? That's why I just asked. Right, I know. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He, he, it's not <laughs> why would you add two more dates though. if you didn't sell out the one game? That, that's what I'm, that's what, that's what I'm know, asking. It makes no sense, but that's not our decision to make. But if they sold out, it makes sense. When it says sell out for charity, it doesn't mean they sold out. No, I it's know a that. Term. It's a term. No, I know it's a, that. It's a play on words. Yeah, it's, a, uh, it's just what they're calling it. Right. I just right. asked if the game was sold out on January 11th, not <laughs> sold It's not sold out, right, Ming? Not that I know of, no. No, oh, okay. This is in Florida? Yeah, Miami. How on earth have they not come to the conclusion that they should bring us down to do a live show That's what uh, I said. at the game? Like, wh- what's going on, man? I don't know. Let's work on that. What, you want what to... is, is more appealing than a befuddled Ming? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, like, you... Live at every turn, like, I don't know what's going on. Wait, what? Sunday Jeff, not understanding. Walt calling him on it. You can see <laughs> all that. I understand perfectly well. <laughs> they got to have like a Sunday lounge. Sunday, Jeff, you fit right down there in Florida. It's Florida no, community. it's All place. Al- Alzheimer patients down no, there. I don't like, I'm not a Florida person. I'm not a heat You're person. You're a Floridian at heart. I'm a North person. Confused. Jerseyite. And disheveled. <laughs> Shuffling about. <laughs> Sunday, Jeff, you could get Crohn's disease. It says here, well, it says it's a, a bowel, an inflammatory bowel disease. I get that when I work here. <laughs> uh, yeah, why are you pointing a him family out? Family history of Crohn's disease. Well, these are the three big things: uh, Jewish ancestry and oh. smoking. No, actually, actually, it does oh. run in my family. Really? really? Yeah, it does. Uh, my grandfather you know, had it. All three. I'm glad you stopped smoking. Well, then why? Yeah, that's something that's. Do you why get, don't you uh, convert to Catholicism? You'll have less of a chance. <laughs> <laughs> this is a charity near and dear to your heart, then. <laughs> no, my grandfather. But usually, <laughs> it's uh, it does run in my family. My grandfather did have, but usually it's 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 earlier. It's an earlier disease where it affects younger people. Not my grandfather didn't get it until he was like in his uh, late fifties, early sixties. No, well, complications from it, but you know he, he lived to ninety years old, so I'm not How old? He, ninety. Well, Brian, is this disease fatal? Uh, no, don't say. I think uh, Nirvana had it. Nir- Who, Nir- uh, Kurt Cobain? Yeah. I think he died of other causes. Though, no, but he? he had it though. It was, he was depressed about having Crohn's disease. That that contributed to his. Uh... Yeah, because he could never. He was oh, he was constantly in pain. Yeah, it depends on the severity of it. What stage it could be. Yeah, at. He didn't die from it indirectly. Right, obviously, but, but... you know, it, it it was it was painful enough to cause him to go off the deep end. It says there's no cure for Crohn's disease. The condition is marked by periods of improvement followed by flare-ups of the symptoms. You have a higher risk for small bowel and colon cancer if you have Crohn's disease. Jesus, so many things can go wrong, man. Like as a as a human, like there's so much shit. I know. Right so there. so buy a ticket, donate a ticket. Yeah. Find a cure Before for you this get horrible Crohn's disease. Yeah. All right, Brian. When was the last time you were on the Pucknuts blog? Um, What's the last time I was on a Tell Him Steve Dave blog? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's never a time. <laughs> Actually, I have a, I have a picture. I just uh, I went through my phone. I have a picture um of that that crappy Santa Claus. Didn't, oh, I really? think Walt actually grabbed my phone, ran across the street, and took a picture yeah, of him. Yeah, that's right. And I forgot all about that. I think that might be... Uh, you can put it up now. You can put it up two weeks. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, maybe. Um, I, uh, I got a thing in the mail, I guess, at the, uh, at the end of every year. The uh, blogging software we use sends you a, um, a little summary. Okay. And uh, so I got that in the mail. And uh, right at the top is a little, um, looks like a little speedometer. And uh, for the Pucknuts blog, it's all the way in the in the red, all the way to the left, and it says, "Wow!" It says, "Wow!" It says, "Wow!" We think you did great. I think you did this? great. Uh, the uh, the blogging this, software this they keep WordPress? track. Yeah, and uh, it says uh, blog's been viewed 110 times in 2010. Which is not bad. So we started in um, September. Wait. It says the. Why is this noteworthy of your notes? No, wait a second. Only because you were complaining that uh, nobody cared. You never well, even put up. Not. You know what would have been fucking wow if you put up the winner of that fucking contest. No. Oh. <laughs> that would have been a wow for me. Gosh. I would have gave you a wow too. I'm That's gonna do. Wow. I'm doing I it this said, week. I think you did great. And we're sending. <laughs> and we're sending the guy his prize. I'm gonna do it this week. Wow. Wow. Exactly. In the wrong um, way. I t- don't take it in a good way. Wow. Ex- exactly. This wow is it the same wow that you're fucking <laughs> getting from this blogging machine? And uh, what? What was the most popular post uh, on the blog the whole entire year of 2010? Bust a nut. That's right. 
And busted nuts. Let's and not busted forget nuts. Them. That's right. So um, this is pathetic. Why would you bring this up? Your busiest day of the year was November nineteenth with twelve views. <laughs> so twelve Why views are you was the busiest. <laughs> day. But, but how did it? How, how did, did we get one hundred and ten? I don't know. Times? That makes no sense. One hundred ten thousand times. I don't know. I think there must have been a couple. At? There must be a oh, couple okay. zeros left off there. I think Ming, you went to it a fucking hundred and. Hundred nine point nine 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 times <laughs> to look at somebody's fucking old nasty nuts. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, so if you haven't if you haven't been there, <laughs> Sunday, Jeff, you're so happy you're back. Aren't last you glad, week, man? Last week like, he was in the was barrel. Just, <laughs> you're just constantly in the crosshair. Don't, whatever you do is wrong. Just remember that. So whatever you do, he's That's here right. just to basically pulverize you. Well, wait, wait, is it wrong to say to just quote just bring up that? Well, you showing something the fucking that's good. Winning, the winning entry was never posted. Okay, I is agree that with wrong? that. No, I agree with that. But I'm saying this, he's just showing that <laughs> he's just showing that there's a lot of views to the website. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't fault. Yeah, the guy but we could use more. This is for the people who don't know. We have a blog, which is at pucknuts.wordpress.com. Let's try to let's let's for 2011. Let's try to get it up to 14 views. 14 in one views day. in one day. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's five of us, so. All right, so uh, yeah, so only what nine <laughs> nine past that? There you go. No, Why don't I'm you just make one. it your own personal blog? I think it, I think people would definitely <laughs> really like, where oh, I Puck just Nuts uh, slash Ming Chen blog. All right, where I just blog and about uh, don't blog about stuff? jogging though. No. All right. I, yeah, he just finished the run. <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's got to come up more something more like substantial, not, not meaty, but like something more like like a slice of life kind of thing. All right, like uh, getting just tap Debbie Chen. All right, no. <laughs> Come you on. know what I mean, like, right, like know, uh, tech- went to <laughs> went to McDonald's with the kids. <laughs> <laughs> if people want to read about that, well, I think they're more interested in um, that than like you know, or uh, going to the post office the other day and, and sitting there in line in fear that the uh, that Susan, the post office lady, listened to Tell Him Steve Dave episode thirty three and, and a half. Is that true? Yes, you were in fear. I was. Uh, I was oh, a little scared that, that she may she have. Uh, in, that's that's You're pathetic. Of fucking mail lady, yeah. dude. You're afraid of some fucking dope behind a counter. What is she going to do to you? Not mail my package? Not put the correct postage? Who was the package going to? Somebody important? Uh, I think it was going to, uh, uh, you know, like Wasn't a going to, Was it going to that fucking winner of that contest, was it? It's going out this week. If you're listening... <laughs> Prosecutor Flanagan. If you're listening, we're, it's, going out, it's going out this week. Your hockey jersey. Um, all right. I know. Well, three. Just saying, I just don't believe... I don't believe for a second, though, that you really were concerned. I was concerned. And what if she had said something to you? What would you have said? Uh, I I don't know. You see how Ming he gets a little flustered when people go after him. I don't if, like. If she throw me under the bus. I don't. Care. In this aspect, if if you're like flustered and she, right. you'd be like, yeah, that guy's a jerk. I wouldn't hold it against you. Right. Oh, like he sold out on you in order to fucking <laughs> make his escape make, to make sure your package gets mailed. I understand. I understand. You've been there, right? Yeah. So if you if you want to if you want to like talk shit behind my back to Susan to escape her wrath. I'm okay with that. How all many right. times could he do it before you're like, all right, enough. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, did you watch the uh, the Winter Classic? Uh, I did not. I only found out about it when it was over. Really? So, yeah, somebody tweeted. Did you tweet about it, Walt? No. Uh, maybe it was Kevin then. I saw somebody tweeted about it. Yeah, Kevin plugged it pretty hardcore. Something about, he said something about Bridgestone being a sponsor, so there weren't many breaks or something. Right, right, right. Right, he thought, he had mentioned that the game seemed to move a lot faster. Due to Still the, got over it. Th- I thought it was longer than a normal game. It was over at eleven o'clock. And what time did it start? Eight. Yeah, so it was three hours. That, that normal game doesn't last that long. Right. It was pretty f- fucking pathetic, though. The in between periods with fucking Bus and um, <laughs> and Franco Harris. That, um, that, that was what? so fucking. That was shabby. terrible. Wasn't what did they it? Do? it was. It was. Um. It was a shootout contest between um two former Pittsburgh Steelers, Franco Harris. The, uh, he did the, uh, yeah. yeah, it doesn't fit in. It's just weird. I guess because of the stadium that they're around, but it just Obviously, makes no sense. why? The fucking, they're playing in the Pittsburgh Stadium. Right, Somebody but it's got nothing to do out. with hockey. Neither one of them played hockey, so why would you and invite Yeah, and there's never been a hockey game in the Steelers Stadium before. It's a, it's a natural marriage. <laughs> so if you missed it, it was basically two football players shooting at an empty net from about 10 feet away. And uh, it was going... For how long? Uh, it, it literally felt like what... The full intermission almost. Oh my god, it was like ten minutes. It, <laughs> it was. Like. They just kept shooting over and over. Yeah. Oh yeah, and god. then everyone they made in, they donated X amount to charity. But it's um, been thrilling. But I was I was watching it with my daughter, and she was like, "Where's the board with the little with the little hole?" 
You know, like they do in a in the like, Dad, how many more times do I have to check your blog? <laughs> <laughs> Getting tired. <laughs> Uh, but I, I thought that was I thought that was weird. Just two guys sh- shooting in an empty net, and they missed. They missed a they lot. Were a football player. So where were from, they shooting from? It's like from ten feet away, like literally. Mm. I I blame NBC for that nonsense. So I don't blame the football players. You know, no, they're just going down there for charity. But my God, make it a little bit more interesting than that. Right, what would have made it better? The board with a little hole. Had a well, couple fans or something. Some <laughs> kids do it. <laughs> I would think something else. You know, something a little bit more. A goalie. Like a rock band. Like in the Super Bowl. Yeah, play, have a band play there. Have a right. Canadian band and have an American band. They should have had a Bradshaw. Yeah, face Ter- off. Battle Terry of Bradshaw suit up in goalie pads. <laughs> Go on, man. <laughs> <laughs> did you watch it, Jeff? Yeah, I did watch it. And? <laughs> it seems no different than last year's game. I mean, it's... it's is it, it's is the it effect, wearing off yeah, on Yeah, the you? effect's worn off on me, and I just... I don't understand how they could... Again, they sell out... Uh, such a big, huge stadium for this one-time event. I guess you basically would say it's like their Super Bowl of, of hockey because it's really the main thing that, that no, they I promote. The Stanley Cup was a Super Bowl of hockey. It is, <laughs> but you know what? It doesn't get the ratings as the as the winter class as the winter classic. Well, maybe does. they got to play it outside then in That's, the middle of June. You know what? Maybe you do. Maybe you have to play seven games outside on melted ice. The winter classic gets better. Yeah. Ratings? Are, wow. Because it, I, um, I don't get it. Did you watch it, Ming? I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, absolutely, you did. I did. What, what was your imp- impression? I, I had fun. I liked it. I thought um, just the, the outdoor elements. What makes it? Oh, tell you. me what it is that makes it so great. Uh, I think. I mean, they hype it up. They have the the, the blimp, right the blimp. Sh- well, I you mean, the buy hype. the hype, right? But uh, you know, they you have fucking it. scarf down the hype. They have uh, you know interesting <laughs> angles. They have, they, 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 <laughs> <laughs> throttle up, man. Good. Interesting angles. Yeah, the overhead shot. Oh, I'm sure okay, there's a right. blimp up there, and uh, ju- I, I, just the the huge the huge stadium. You know, seventy thousand people. It's it, it is ex- it's it's ex- it's exciting. It's exciting, and I'm not the I'm not alone because uh, Brian, you were talking about ratings. It was the most watched regular season NHL game in 36 years. Say that. There's your Stanley Cup. You know why though? Because the, a regular season NHL game, I, I think fucking. What so Senate hearings get better ratings than um, NHL regular season hockey games? C-SPAN. Yeah, I mean a regular season NHL game. I would love to see what this what what it beat. What was the highest rated regular season NHL game of all time in America? Can we find that out, Ming? Yeah, I would probably... love to know what that was. I bet you it's that's a good question. I bet you it's pathetic. So you're saying relatively, it's not that hard right. to beat. Exactly. Well, it was also pushed to eight o'clock though. Man, was it's normally on a one o'clock. Cross, disease, 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 <laughs> get off Did you course. watch it, Q? Uh, no. <laughs> you're, you're, cl- you're treading on dangerous ice with your puck nuts. Uh, no, no, no. I mean, I, eligibility I just, here. <laughs> I, was, I was a little bit. I was a little bit uh, interested in watching it, and then all the hype came up, and I was like, "Fuck this hype! This is right. fucking." I'm not gonna <laughs> scarf this hype up. Yeah. I'm not. Fuck I'm not hype. a fucking. Um, what's it called when you when you fair weather. Not fair weather. Hype weather. Like, you know, you just yeah. You, you know, you go with your 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 a show not a showster. What's it called when you're a scenester? Oh, uh, hipster. A hipster. A you're always hipster? like, you know, what's what's in? What's cool? Today? What's, what's that? trendy? What's trending right now? Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Did you watch uh, it? Did I watch it? I watched it. It's it, it tell me like, it didn't feel any different than a, a Pittsburgh Capital game no. on versus, other than they like, kept. Force feeding you that angle from like a hundred miles up in the sky, yeah, that, and they had it actually, and, and much to their delight, I'm sure that they were uh, oh so pleased with the fact that they scored a goal from that angle. You know, one of the one of the Capitals' goals was scored so high up in the air you couldn't, you even, couldn't see even see it. But being in that high section in that stadium to see like any of the goals, you would have to watch the jumbotron. There's just no way you could see anything from up at that point of view. I had a Canadian call me and lambaste me. For, for talking stuff about the outdoor game. How dare you, eh? <laughs> <laughs> he really got on my ass. He called? He the called. Store? Yeah. Well, he was calling for a glory hole. All right, he just slipped that. <laughs> but he had, to let, he had to throw this. I'm sorry, out. buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like the outdoor game. It's my favorite game of the year. No, they were saying that, like, as an American, I should shut my mouth. This is how this is how Canadians grew up on the game. This is why we love it. I like and this you know game. And, I, and, I, and to his... Def- his defense. <laughs> Wait, this, has the payment gone through? <laughs> All right, fuck <laughs> <him>. <laughs> um, I don't come from that aspect, obviously. But I don't get... I really don't get why this is such a big deal. It's, it's to me, I, 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 to me the event. novelty has so day. worn off. Unless it snows. Because you know how much I love the snow, boys. 
We talked about that earlier. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, it gets very romantic when it's Who should live snowing. in Florida? <laughs> when it snows, yeah. Like when it, well, that, that very first winter class yeah, everybody snowed, talks about when it snowed, yeah. I missed it. I was getting busy. <laughs> <laughs> For three hours? <laughs> no, it snowed in the third period. Did you watch it? No, I didn't. Uh, Wasn't a really hockey fan. They stopped the game a lot, though, to, to constantly do the ice, though, didn't in the they? First in the first one, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. But you know what? It gets ratings, and that's all that matters. People love it. That's really all. That's it, uh, the bottom line is it, it's a success. And uh, Tradition now. I like how they're making tradition. a tradition. Yes, that's, I yes. do like that. As, you know, I don't want to poo-poo it all the way. I, I just can't wrap my head around it a little, sometimes why it's such a big deal. I would have thought the ratings might have been a little bit lower this year because it's the time that they moved it on because of the potential for rain, which right. it did anyways, with the, against all the bowl games because there oh, were some yeah. bowl games on night. So I would thought that the ratings. Well, might the, have I don't. Been know, a let's lower. not say it, well, it didn't beat. It didn't beat any bowl games. I'm guessing, right, Ming? Uh, I don't. I don't think. I mean, it might have beat some of those bullshit bowl games, but uh, the major ones, probably not. Mm. So you're, 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 who, who do you, who would you hope to see in the Winter Classic next year, Ming? You, they're going to come to the Puck Nuts and be like, Puck Nuts, oh, pick, by, the, pick the Winter Classic next year. Oh, by no, far. You've sold by all f- those calendars. We've got another <laughs> job for you. I mean, by far, Devils Rangers, either no, uh, Meadowlands or happen. Yankee Stadium. Be no, perfect. Be on, you know, come on. You've you got to go based on this year. You can't, if you've got to go based on this year, you're never going to pick the Rangers and the Devils. The, no. the, the records are not that good, and it's just not that, they're not the sexy matchup. You gotta, you gotta play realistic here. Uh, it's tough. Um, I don't know if the, you think they could bring maybe a West Coast team. You know, sure, say, just say it, San Jose, you... and um, I, I, I I'm thinking I... Pittsburgh, Washington again rematch. Rematch? Oh, that, that'd be terrible. I want to see something different. Why not two Canadian teams? Ottawa, Montreal. They're already doing that. Yeah, but I'm saying, why can't they be part you of the? You know, Winter there's another Winter Classic, don't you, this year? What's that? There's another winter class. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying rather than do that, well, they did that because of uh, I think of complaints because there right. was. Well, they're no going to do that every year like that. So yeah, it's a her- so don't, uh, Let's not bring game. in two Canadian teams on on two. On but two if you're doing it first. more than once, you're taking away a little bit of the. Uh, you know, I'd like no. to see them in. in I, a, I wonder in a winter if we get shown in America, the one in Canada. Yeah, yeah, on versus maybe. Yeah, it'll yeah, be on yeah. on one of those stations. But you were happy with it, Ming. You you were yeah, excited. It's, it's, uh, Did you watch the? So what? So you're telling me you watched the Winter Classic over the Devil Game that night? I uh, I waited till the Devil Game was over. Well, I mean, but the Devil Game was pretty much over. Over oh, was over in the first three minutes. For it was over <laughs> in the first three minutes. So you know, after I got over that, after I wiped away my tears, picked myself up, I flipped it on, flipped it on to uh, the Winter Classic. And, What's um, Lemaire's record now? That, that uh, was, like was it one in four? One I believe in five, one in five. So no big changes. No. Uh, I, I, I mean, he's. I like what he's saying though. He's calling out the team, and he's been, he's been, he's been making what I think are the right changes. Now, whether or not they'll translate into victories or not, I don't. That remains to be seen. What is the biggest change he's made that you're happy with? Uh, number one, he's. Uh, I mean, it sounds like he's leaning toward platooning the goalies. Okay, he hasn't done it yet, and he hasn't really well, stated that he is going to do it. It's always alluding to. Right, but Hedberg is. So in, the biggest change you like is something he hasn't really said I'm going to do. No, but it's 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 happening though. He's it's not head, happening. Hedberg is in tonight. Versus if it was the, happening, uh, Hedberg would have been against Carolina since coming off that win against. Well, I mean, I think you gotta get Broder one more chance before you totally. Um, you know, that's a big, that's a huge move. It is a huge. That's move. a big move, and uh, I, I mean, one that was going to happen eventually. I, we, we, I was hoping it wasn't going to be this quick. Sunday, Jeff. Yes. Is Brodor finished? Uh, I don't say finished. I say that he can't play full seasons anymore. I do believe he's got um, he's got one more year left on his contract. Then he's got one more year. Yes, I think he's got to share the load now with another goalie or start. The Devils got to start looking for no, yeah, share the load. Start looking for another goalie, younger goalie, and start looking for the future now. Because I mean, obviously Hedberg's not going to be there next year. I don't think he would be. And you got to find somebody younger, and you got to find somebody who's going. Brodor to want doesn't want to retire after next year. Do you sign him? Mm, I don't know what they'll do. I really couldn't answer that question. I'm asking you. I, don't, I think they would sign him anyways, regardless. You know, as, uh, but that, I don't gonna, think was he gonna, he's not he going to play a full season. Five million, six million dollars a year. No, but I don't think he's going to play a full season though either. I don't think he's going to play full seasons anymore. You can see though, he's in his career. I mean, up until last year, he was fine, but he got an injury last year. He had multiple injuries this year, and he also doesn't have the team that he had a couple years ago playing in front of him. So he's attributed to do more work right now. So you know. And, you know, Hedberg, the game I saw against Atlanta was, was a good game. I thought Hedberg played really good in that game, and I thought the team played, responded well in front of him. 
So, you know, again, they're playing Minnesota tonight. We have to see how he plays, you know, see if he can play a consecutive game, you know, without without being rattled. He got lit up in Carolina. Right, but I'm saying you're already, you're already basically, you know, down three whatever, you know, three nothing, and you're just basically throwing him into the fire to try to protect something. But I don't think he played terrible, you know, in the game, you know, under the circumstances. Should they trade Brodeur, Brian, and get something for him? Oh, yeah. Get him out of there. <laughs> Enough with this guy already. That's it. After so many years, after three cups, that's it. Yeah. What have you done for me lately? Yeah. Yeah. You, you can't just stand on, uh, on, on what he's done in the past. It's, you can't have a sentimental attachment to him. It's like, like your car. Eventually, your car wears out. There's only so much you can, you know, only so many more miles it has in it. It's time to move on. Do you do you think it's all age, right now? I mean, um, it's not an injury. It's not a. Uh, it's not as. Well, more he's, prone to injury when you get older. Yeah, right. But he's he's had flat. He's got three shutouts this year. He's I had heard flashes. He has of, disease. He's, <laughs> <laughs> how, how many uh, Brodeur t-shirts and jerseys do you think they sell? A lot still. Yeah. Oh yeah. That yeah. If you go, if you, you see, it seems like that factors into it, man. You, People love them too. Well, then there you go. So that carries a certain amount of weight too. To be like, fuck you, get out of here. That doesn't make a lot of sense. I don't think he. I don't. Uh, to be honest, the way he's playing, I don't think. I don't think you'd get much in in return at this point. No. I mean, the, the goaltender that was in the Stanley Cup Finals last year was put on waivers. Steve Layton. Yeah. And not one person picked him up. I mean, that says a lot about the state of goaltending in NHL. I mean, I don't think you really need like a high echelon goaltender to get the job done. Well, you, you do. Just if need you to know. be able to score. If you have a team that scores. Right. <laughs> or, um, you just got to be hot during the playoffs. Right. What's this chilling words? Chilling words. Yeah, what's this? Uh, Lemare's chilling words. Yeah, Lemare. Um... <laughs> I think he's going to murder them. <laughs> that is weird. That is bizarre. Look at the words. And I... <laughs> <laughs> That's chilling. It is chilling. Lemare's <laughs> saying things you never want to hear a head coach say about your favorite team. <laughs> Such as uh, I've never ever faced anything like this in my career. Saying that you know their just their play is so abysmal that uh, you know you've never seen anything like you know a guy who's been around as long. Chilling as Chilling words has. are like your fucking kids are missing, <laughs> and somebody calls you randomly and is like. Never right, but I, I'm talking in you know hardcore hockey terms. You know, chilling as a, words. Yeah, they, those aren't those words aren't chilling to you that I've never. I think to me, I think when Ming's typing up these bullet points, he's fucking thinks he's fucking Stephen King typing them up here. He's, <laughs> he's, like, so, he's yeah. getting way more into it than he really has to. <laughs> you know, words like, uh, you know, we've had some tough times. Wait, and we... Hokey, wait a minute, Hokey Night in America? Yes, do you have a, do you have a game you want to play? We have a prize to give away. We'll find a prize. we got plenty of prize. Give away a, a glory hole. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not giving away glory hole. Oh, I've given away for 75% as it is. Now I want right, to give right, away for yeah, free. Yeah, that's right. It's you put away, up, right. you put, give me the credit card and I'll fucking run your credit card. 25 bucks, I'll give one away. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll put that up. <laughs> I'm going to take much to Oh, my Lord. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. I don't have my shit, though. I don't have any, Where, I don't have you take any your, questions. Would you take I'm your prepared. fucking three weeks ago? Would you take your hokey night kit back home? Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Chilling words. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm ready to go here. So how are we going to do? Are we going to get, get right, two same people to Skype in? Yeah. Are we going to call somebody? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. Hello. Hey. What's going on, Chris? Hello. Yeah, it's Chris. Awesome. I'm uh, Ming. Hello. Are you here with the Puck Nuts? Oh, really? Yes. Really? <laughs> Where are you from, Chris? Oh, He's from Canada. I'm from uh, Ireland. Dublin in oh. Ireland. Oh, oh we ain't gonna I'm not sending it to Ireland. I am not sending it to Ireland, bro. What, Ming and Jeff will pick up the post? No, post they're, they're, post? you know how much it was? It was $30 <laughs> to send it to Ireland. Please, please, oh, was please. It really? <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. If you can give me a shout out on Puck Nuts and uh, tell them Steve Dave, I'll, you, can give the, you can give the gift to uh, a, a worthy cause if you don't want to send it to Ireland. Okay. Is that okay? Where they cause it right back and flat against <laughs> coffers. <laughs> do you do you have any hockey knowledge? I don't actually know. Other than um, from what I've learned on puck nuts, oh, I know. Man. Well, I know. Uh-oh. You're screwed. <laughs> <in. laughs> <laughs> Absolutely no knowledge. The fact that the Rangers eat nuts. I, I yeah, they uh, <laughs> so did learn something. Yeah, I, le- I learned something. Something valuable. All right. This is uh, what's your name, Josh? Hello. Who is this? Hello. Hey, this is Adam. Uh, where are you from, Adam? I'm from Dallas. Adam and Chris, you're going to play a game. 
um, called Hokie Night. Adam, you're on Brian Johnson and Brian Quinn's team. Sounds good. You're, you're, what you're playing for is a glory hole. Do you know what a glory hole is? I do. <laughs> Have you ordered a glory hole yet? I order glory holes every night from the... Oh, wait, wait a minute. Special <laughs> shop down. You always win a glory hole. <laughs> no, I, glory hole, I know what a glory hole is. No, do you really know? I mean, do you know what this, yeah, I really know. the Tell Them Steve Dave glory hole is? I know the Tell Them Steve Dave glory hole. Okay. All right, so we're going to ask three questions. And uh, you you get to uh, confer with your teammates. And uh, Chris, your teammates are Sunday Jeff and Ming Chen. Cool. All right? All right. Here we go. First question is for Brian Q and Brian Johnson team. Mario, Mario Lemieux's nickname. Is it number one, Le Plumer, Le Snowflake, Black Juju, or Buries It? Guys? All right. Well, I, I know. Mario Lemieux's nickname is Super Mario. He say uh, he has had a couple of nicknames. I'm going. I went with one of the most obscure ones, Super Mario, and um, Lee Magnifique. I think was also a nickname that he went by. But the, I went for a very obscure nickname. Black Juju just sounds racist. <laughs> <laughs> I want to believe it's not that one. Well, uh, it was spelled Black Juju, as in J U J U. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, Sunday Jeff. Me and Sunday Jeff are about to start <laughs> protesting this shit. Um, so, what were the other ones? Lay Plumber, mm -hmm. Lay Snowflake, Black Juju, or Buries It? What do you think, Q? Uh, well, I'm going to go for Black Juju. <laughs> You're going to do it anyway. I'm going to do it anyway, yeah. I mean, now now knowing how innocent it is and how, how family friendly it is, I, I like it. You like Black Juju? I like Black Juju. I think it's a little bit too risque for uh, for the public. I don't think they're going to be calling him Black Juju on, uh, <laughs> on, on, uh, on, on TV, right? So you have Lay Snowflake, Lay Plumber. Yeah. Now, is this your attempt at pronouncing French? Is it like Lay Plume or something like that? No, Lay Plumer. Like fucking... Like, like a plumber. Like, like Mario like... fucking from the video game is a plumber. Oh, okay. Get it? Yeah, I get it. That's a good one. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with Le Plumer. Okay, but it's up to. But now, uh, Adam, you have the final say. You can go at Brian or Q, or you can go out on your own. Uh, I think I'm gonna side with Brian on this one, Johnson. Brian Johnson, you're gonna say it's Plumer. All right, and we go now to Ming's team. Ming, what have you? What are your thoughts on this? What do you think it is, Ming? I uh, I, I don't think it's a Black Juju one as well. Um, was it Le Plumer, Le Snowflake? What was the other one? Uh, buries it. Buries it, as in buries the puck. Oh, that's Ming's nickname. <laughs> <laughs> what, what have you buried that's a, that's lately? A name. <laughs> uh, I like the Le Plumer as well. I, it just sounds um, doesn't sound something you'd make up. Okay, Sunday Jeff, what are you thinking? Le Plumer. Well, they're all made up, right? Only one of them. They is, might be with him. You never know. Only one of them is made oh, okay. up. Only oh, only one of them is the real one. Okay, Chris. Well, yeah, you, you have to go with Le Plumer. Le Plumer. Yeah. Uh -oh. And guess what? Every one of you fuckers is wrong. Adam, you dummy. Buries <laughs> it. <laughs> it's Black Juju. It. Buries it. So people called him buries it. Yeah, like he buries the puck, like Ming was saying. He, you know, when he's got a chance, he buries it. Buries mm. it. Is what you do, Ming? <laughs> well, every night. The opportunity comes up, you bury that shit. Every night. Kids go to bed. Daddy's gonna yeah, bury right. it. That's right. He's got a bone to bury. Knickknacks, patty whack. Let me. You know, a dog always could always smell where he buries his bone. <laughs> I'm gonna come back tomorrow, sniff it around, and make sure it's still there. <laughs> Glad you're back. <laughs> Glad I'm back. All right, guys. We're going to go with Ming's team first. All right. Nashville Predators, when they, were, when they came into the NHL, they took their name, their nickname Predators, from this. Nashville has the most sexual Predators per square mile than any other city in the, U in the USA. Two, a saber-toothed tiger skeleton was unearthed in 1971 in Nashville. Um... Three, 20th Century Fox owned 
of a stake in the team early on and plan to use the famous alien predator f- image as um, you know as their logo. But be- but qu- but qu- before the season began, 20th Century pulled out. Thought, but the the, re- the rest of the owners decided to go with Predators. Ming Jeff Jeff. They still decided to stick with the name Predators, even though they couldn't use the Predator image anymore. And, well, you know, the, we're talking about the Arnold Schwarzenegger Predator here. What was the second one? The second, um, the second question? Saber-tooth. A saber-toothed tiger skeleton was unearthed in 1971 in Nashville. I'm going to go with that one. You can go with two? Yeah, I'm going to go with two. Okay, Ming? Uh, I'm going to go with the, uh, the 20th Century Fox uh, Predator movie one. Okay, Chris, you can go with Sunday Jeff or Ming? Sorry, Ming, but I'll go with the Predator, uh, the Sabretooth. Tiger? Yeah. Okay. Q- Bry, Q? As much as I would love to go with the sexual Predator. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was my first choice. Yeah. I think I would probably lean towards the uh, the uh, Schwarzenegger Predator. You like the Schwarzenegger Predator? I like that, yeah. It seems like one of those tie-ins, one of those... Um, like the Mighty Ducks. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to go with that. Q? Uh, I'm gonna go with the uh, with the with the uh, skeleton, the predator skeleton. So you're thinking something that happened 40 years ago? Nashville's still fucking like, hey, remember that tiger? <laughs> there he goes 40 again. 40 years there ago. Goes. Yeah, as, as opposed to a, a 25 year old movie. Yeah. 25 year old movie. They just Aliens vs Predator wasn't 25 years ago. Yeah. Still a successful franchise. You're doing this. You're doing the Wolf Flanagan thing. You <laughs> argue and you try and change my thing, but I'm I'm going with the predator thing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I, I, You're going with the saber tooth tiger now. thing, you mean, right? What's up? You're going with the saber tooth tiger thing? You know what? I'm going to go with the sexual predator thing. That's going to be my. That's, I'm changing my answer to the, the largest amount of sexual predators in the area, and that's what it is. All right, uh, Adam, what do you think? Well, since BQ doesn't have the balls to stick by his convictions, I'm going to go ahead and oh. get him right. Oh! 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 Hang up the fucking phone with this asshole. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no. Can I hang up on him, please? No, no. Come on. Uh, no. <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> we got to start over again. Yeah, so come on. He, is, he could win automatically, this guy. No, he has every right to put Well, we got one more question. I just saved you, Adam. I don't want to get him back. I don't want to get him back. I want to hang up on him. Don't, no, no, no. He's, he's an official, uh, uh, he's an official player. Adam, you fucking, you better make nice with Q. He's trying to hang up on you. Uh, okay, I'm sorry, Q. Adam, he apologized. Fucking comment like that. He, he apologized. Yeah, 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 hung up on. I don't care what these people say. <laughs> Come on, Q. I don't need this shit. Come on. Come that's on. Not, that's Q. not the puck nut attitude we like. To. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm like the uh, what the goon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the goonies. All right, so Adam says saber tooth. All right, Q. Come on. Make up with make up yeah, with Adam. Come right, on. Adam. I'm, I, I think it's a skeleton buried in the in the forties, forty years ago. So do you, Adam? Yes, I do. I agree. And guys, you're both right. It was the tiger. <laughs> Whoa. So this is the deciding question. Then, dun, dun, dun. can you believe this kind of pressure that is on Chris and Adam for a glory hole? I mean, the pre- more pressure is coming from Quinn not hanging up on it. Yeah. Uh, could you run, hey, Mike, could you do me a favor? Could you run Ming's card for $25 before I go with this final question? <laughs> <laughs> or give him $25? Cash. There we go. All right. All right. Well, actually, it'd be 35 Poor oh, Ming. Right. He's got to pay for the shipping, too. That's right. All right. All right. But what uh, if the other guy wins? Who? The other, he said, we're donating. We're donating it. We're giving it. Oh, we're going to donate it? Yeah. Donate it to Adam even if he loses? No, no, no. Not, <laughs> not after that. I mean, I, I want him to stay in the show, but I can't, I cannot get behind giving him something for losing after that comment to BQ. Thank you. All Thanks, right. Paul. All right. Last question. I like Adam's style. I'm sorry. That would have been so much better if you let me hang up on him. <laughs> Hold on. You can cut this out, man, until I find the right one. This is so Okay. The Rocket Richard riot of 55. This caused riots in the street. Of Montreal. This is a, this is a hockey legend lore. But I don't know if any, everybody really knows what really caused the riots. Here's what could have been. <laughs> the most sexual <laughs> predators. <laughs> um, wait, wait, wait. What's the backstory? Why was there... Oh, okay. You're getting... Well, I'm going to tell you what okay. the riots were caused by. Where the fans... The fans stormed the streets of Montreal because of a riot because Rocket Richard, one of the most beloved Montreal Canadiens, was suspended for the playoffs. Okay. Is that enough backstory for you? Yes. Um, 
<laughs> the most basic information. Is that enough? <laughs> Do you fucking got it down now? <laughs> Was it caused by fans were outraged by a newspaper report that Rocket Rache wore a toupee? <laughs> Was it were were fans that were outraged because he was suspended for the entire playoffs because of a minor altercation with a with a in the regular season with a linesman? Were they outraged because Rocket made a derogatory comment about Elvis Presley after seeing the performer at the forum in nineteen fifty five? He was upset that the king was gyrating in an obscene manner. And called him Black Juju. <laughs> <laughs> um, da, 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 da. So, okay, we'll go with Bry Q and uh, Adam. What do you think, guys? Okay, so the fans were mad because A, it was a he was suspended. To pay. He was suspended for the playoffs, but why right. was he suspended? Was he suspended because? Oh no, he was suspended either because of the obscene <laughs> gyrations of Elvis. And he spoke out against. He it. spoke out against, and the league suspended him for for conduct on becoming a professional. Like okay. they 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 were upset by that. He got suspended for his comments. Right. Or was he just? Were the fans outraged? Just stormed the streets because he because the newspaper report that he had a toupee. Okay. Or did he have a minor altercation with the in the regular season with the linesman? So the fans that caused him to get streets. caused him to get suspended. He got suspended for wearing a toupee. What? No, no, they were just no. He that wasn't the suspension. He they were upset. They, the riots were caused. <laughs> it's about the riots. It's yeah, about his, okay. yeah, they were upset because it's, it's like it's confusing. like the fucking the, the Danish cartoons. Okay. Right. Remember how they went out and killed nuns and stuff when the Danish cartoons? Right, right. They, the Montreal fans went nuts when they heard that uh, their their god almost had a toupee. So it's Allah or yeah, like if they said Allah had a toupee, they might storm the storm the streets. Um. It was a confusing one. I don't know. What do you think, Quinn? <laughs> I was like, I'm lost. It was pretty much straightforward the way you I answered mean, the question, though, wasn't it? The only one that affects the game is him being suspended because of the... The minor altercation. Yeah. yeah. It seems so obvious, though, right? Yeah, but this is Flanagan in its best. Uh, the, <laughs> he always gets me. And now I got this asshole right in my ass playing the game. <laughs> I'm going to go with the toupee. You're going toupee. Yeah. People don't want to hear that they're... That they're because most that article revered... Was was written in a de real derogatory manner, I, I bet, about the two. Well, players. it was in an age before, you know, we had to know everything about our about our, about our right. celebrities. You know, they wanted them to be perfect. And it, it was horrifying to know that someone might have a toupee. Yes. You couldn't even take it. No one could. <laughs> right. <laughs> 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 um, I'm going to lean towards uh, Elvis, because that means that he would have brought it on himself. He spoke out against the king. So Elvis he's, fans went crazy. No, no, no. He shit. got suspended for the comments he, he, he made about Elvis. He got suspended for the comments he made about Elvis. Like, he said some shit, and he got suspended, and then the fans got mad that he got suspended for talking shit about Elvis. Right. So he could have been wearing it. So he could have got suspended for wearing a toupee. No. No. Get <laughs> <laughs> your head out of your ass. <laughs> <laughs> he's made it crystal clear. <laughs> <laughs> Comment. And Q, you're going with the, with the toupee? Toupee. All right, Adam. This is a big one. This could be the winning. Th this could be it for you. Well, I uh, I feel like I can't go against Q now or else... <laughs> no, you can't. No, 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 no. No, 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 no listen. I, I was on, that was for the show. I'm only kidding, buddy. No, I... Uh, <laughs> Get your hand off the mouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I was only kidding. I was never angry. I was never really going to hang up on you. Go. I'm on your side, bro. I'm with you on this. So if you don't, you know, if you don't feel it was the toupee, don't, don't go with it. I want you to win. Um, we want you to hit that glory hole. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and stick with the toupee. Toupee, okay. I'm hanging up on you, motherfucker. <laughs> Sunday, Jeff, do you understand what happened? You look really lost over no, there. No, I'm going with the altercation with the ref, though. Going with the altercation yep. with the ref? I'm going to agree with you on that. You think it could be that simple? Hey, yeah, I gave him my answer. Fucking testicles. Dude, yes, what if you? What if like who do you like? Who do you admire in today's out there today, Jeff? Like who's a celebrity that you're like? You know what? If you found a I know you wore a toupee, would you go crazy? <laughs> no. who? Take to the streets. <laughs> it's meaningless to me. It's now meaningless. let's say like you said Bruce was in town over um over the holiday, right? right? He was over at Jack's. You went over and you saw you saw you said, hey man, I think Bruce is wearing a rug. Would you be upset by that? No. No. Well, why would it bother me? <laughs> it doesn't bother would me. You, but you would tell your wife though, right? Would I tell my wife if he yeah. wore... 
No, I don't think it. Well, <laughs> I'm talking about two I guess if it's that important, if it came up in a conversation, yes. But it's not like uh, who cares? You like the guy for his uh, wig, or you like him for his music? It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Do you like him for his wig? His toupee, his rug, whatever you want to call it. Right. I like him for his music. I'm sticking to my answer, bitch. Uh, Ming, you don't talk shit about the king now and get away with it. No, but you don't. You don't. Uh, you don't. Get into an altercation with the linesman either. They take that shit seriously up in Canada, especially back in the 50s. All right. Chris. Yes. What's it going to be? Um, I don't think I can ignore the two big hockey fans there in the room, so I'll go with uh, Ming and Sunday Jeff. Oh. Um, I'll go with the uh, altercation. Altercation with the oh, linesman. Shocking. I thought he was yeah. going to say me and Quinn. <laughs> and. <laughs> yeah, forget those guys. I'm going for Johnson. <laughs> Altercation with the linesman. Ah. He shocked us with his obviousness. <laughs> you would think it would be the linesman, but it really wasn't. It was yeah, really the toupee. Oh, so, uh, Chris, you won. Oh, did I? Oh, yep. Wait, what did Adam say? He won nothing. Adam said well, Adam the toupee. Quinn. You were so afraid of fucking Quinn that you wanted to fucking some dirt in his toupee. Oh, Adam. Well, I, I told him not to. <laughs> Poor Adam. All Ming, right. Do you have, Ming, do you have a... Uh, do you have a, a prize, a consolation prize for poor Adam here? Do you want to shell out more money? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I've hit my limit Lou, today. Hey, you don't, you, don't, you What the NHL should do, no points for losing is what they should do. And that's what the puck nuts are about. No points for losing. Sorry, Adam. It's all good. All right, Adam. Well, thanks for playing. And, uh, it's, it's a pleasure being on. You can hear yourself lose and uh, tell all your friends, <laughs> listen to puck nuts. So when is this tomorrow? What's the day is today? Tuesday? Yeah, Thursday. 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 Yeah. You got a you got a girlfriend? Uh, I do. Yeah, tell her, say tune in. Listen to me lose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Adam. And big winner, Chris Let's Shelley. Take it easy, buddy. Big winner, Chris Shelley from Ireland. And what's the shout out that we got we gotta do for you, Chris? Um I know just say hello uh, on on tell him Steve Dave. That what puck nuts ain't good enough? What's that? Puck no. nuts ain't good enough. You gotta get to. You gotta get on. Tell him, Steve, Dave, huh? You practically are on Tell him, Steve. Dave. <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah. much. <laughs> All right. No, you know what? We gotta buy. We that's what we said we do. So we'll, we'll get a shout out on uh, Tell him, Steve, Dave, as well. Next week's show. Next week's show, not yeah. Fridays, but next Fridays. We already did this one. Yeah, that'll be great. Just I say. Really appreciate it. Just say hello to Chris. What's that? Yeah, just say hello to Chris, the winner on Puck Nuts, or you know whatever. I'm sure Brian will come up with something. No last name. Uh, Shelley. Okay. You got please it. Don't, please All don't right. call it a girl's name. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Chris. Cheers. Thanks. Ooh. Wow. What a game. What uh, What happened to the sexual deviants? Are you saving that you're banking those for? Uh... No, I wasn't going to bring it up. This That's time. the exclusive one. That's an exclusive pod. All right. Mm. There's been a lot of talk of uh, sexual depredation and depravity on these last couple shows. Now, We've now NHL is no NBA. But they got their share of, of uh, Hanky panky. boys getting boys getting a little out of control though. But it's, <laughs> what? Can you? Uh, a little out of control. Do you have one incident that comes to mind? Recent puck nuts exclusive pod, Ming. All right, but don't all you right. get about that? All, all right, right. No, sorry. Why do you, <laughs> you want to give it away? <laughs> sorry, I thought they you know give people a little taste. They'll come back for more. We're 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 teasing them. All right. They are to tease, Ming. Right. Seven veils, bitch. He's got a book coming out next month. <laughs> you go home, you tell Debbie Chen about the bone. <laughs> you tell her tomorrow about the bone. Give it six months until you bury it. Six months? Yeah, give her six <laughs> months of teasing. <laughs> That's not going to be happening. <laughs> Sorry. So is that it, Bing? Uh, that might be it, unless... Uh, um, There's so um, much more stuff, isn't there? Nah, we talked. We glanced over all that like we do every week. Really? <laughs> <laughs> but Jeff, uh, well, Jeff, what do you, th- Jeff, what do you, <laughs> Jeff, what do you think of this? Uh, Elias uh, could be moving back to center, and Lemire is saying uh, it'll. He's doing so to help Ilya Kovalchuk, to help him. He needs help. I don't think Kovalchuk needs help. I just think he needs really? to be on the whoa, 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 whoa. line. Really? I don't think he needs help. So six consecutive forty goal seasons, and he got what nine now? He's on from pace he's a for minus twenty eight. It's a minus twenty eight. I think he might need a little help. In Sunday Jeff's world. Again, you don't need help when you're fucking. You're only as good as the team around you, and if yeah, your other you're team's not playing well, and a half time you're drowning, and Sunday Jeff's like. Eh. <laughs> you would have thought he would have had forty goals at the beginning of the season without without seeing what they're playing now. 
you would have definitely thought they would have had a, you know, a good season. Now, how do you go from division champs to being last place in the NHL? How can you explain that? Do you feel like an asshole if you get paid that much and you just can't score? Oh, you sh- absolutely. Like, personally, you, pre- you feel pretty bad? Absolutely, I'm I do. I'm sure it's got to be troubling. Mm. It's, not, it's not good for your head, and that's what it's all in his head right now. He can, ski, he can score. He's he going to break away against the win. Does he need a psychiatrist, guys? It couldn't hurt. A With- goal psychiatrist? A goal shrink? Yeah, I say so. They have sports psychiatrists, right? They do. Like if somebody puts a hex on them, they, they're very superstitious. Yeah, uh, especially uh, hockey. Athletes, right? Yeah. Does he need a witch doctor? <laughs> he could possibly dolls. use a witch doctor, a voodoo priest, <laughs> uh, some Wiccan shit going on there. Yo, boo. And about lighting a candle. <laughs> What's that? Like your mom lights a candle for you. I will have Pam light a candle for Kobe. <laughs> really? <laughs> mm-hmm. Wait, well, what's that candle called? The uh, praise candle? Success or success candle. Success candle. Success. Yeah, it's not like you got a hundred million dollar contract. He needs more success. Right, but well, success uh, and scoring. What uh, what's a su- success candle run about? Five bucks. He yeah, can something like that. So he can light like a he can light a million of them. Could it take it? Well, I think it only takes one though. All right, well, why I don't not? think the more candles you write, light, light the more success. All right, you I, don't, I don't know how this shit works. Did that, one, did that one work out for you? Yeah, obviously. Come on, best of two thousand ten. Double winner of the podcast awards. I think it worked out real well. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That is true. I'm gonna tell her to light a candle. I'm gonna tell her to light so many candles are gonna burn the goddamn house down. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, right, Ming, no nuts, no no pu- no busting nuts. I, th- no I think we. St- I thought we stopped that. I thought Did we put a next on that. In? Oh well, I got pictures. Any good I'm ones? just not sharing it with you guys. You son of a bitch. Well, I'm they're not all the one who fucking shut it, shut it down. Wait, they're all they're ch- all chicks and girls. No, they're all nut sex. Oh, uh, yeah. Look at his eyes glowing. <laughs> 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 All what, um, nut sacks. <laughs> Why aren't you sharing them? <laughs> Hogging them up and shit. Uh, <laughs> gobbling You're like them the up. fucking rangers there, eating them all night. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about all this praise Lemaire's been heaping on Elliot? The fuck? I'm trying to end the show. Uh, no, I thought there. that was it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, do it. I just did. Mm. All right, do it again. Do it more with more <laughs> conviction. You got you to lead me into it now. Give me a little something. All right. Ah, shut up. The rangers eat nuts. All right. <laughs> see you next week. <laughs>